Now, for the reality of cancer treatment, the meds. This is some amazing stuff. Bear with me. Um, it could get a little bit boring, but uh, it's actually very fascinating. Uh, I have so many meds that I'm on this calendar. There's lots of different meds on it. It's called the BIRD protocol, as I mentioned before. And the BRD, that would be... That would be the biaxin. I'll show you the biaxin. Biaxin, which is basically clarithromycin, which is a, it's an antibiotic. You gotta take that uh, twice a day. So that would be the B. The R would be the Revlimid. That's this. This bottle of 21 pills costs $7,000. Think about that for one second. Each one of these pills is 333 bucks, and it costs $7,000 a month to treat someone with my cancer. I have health insurance. I'm very lucky. Um, and I think that's all I really can say about that, that I'm very lucky. That would be the R in the BIRD protocol. The D is Decadron. This stuff sucks. <clears throat> that's this stuff. This is apparently a hardcore steroid. This apparently kills cancer cells as well. It goes after, it's a, it's a very strong um, anti-inflammatory, so it's helping out with my back pain. It makes my heart race like hell. Not easy to sleep on. Not pleasant. While we're complaining, this by accident is the worst stuff ever. And there's Ella. She apparently is joining. Um, this stuff makes my stomach feel horrible. I almost peed twice today because of this stuff. It is absolutely horrible on the stomach. I hate it. I can't wait till I stop taking it. This stuff. This is the hardcore revolutionary new medication against multiple myeloma. And this stuff fucks you up. I mean, it, is, it has made me fatigued, it has made me feverish, it's made me dizzy, it's made me pukey, it's made, I mean, I was on my hands and knees begging for mercy. I've had fevers from that. I mean, it is, I mean, if you think about it, it's a tiny little pill, 25 milligrams, of this crazy medication that goes in and slaughters cancer cells. Dead. So, imagine what it's doing to the rest of my body. It's just, it's, this is not... Uh, my least favorite part about cancer, which just sounds fairly ironic, is the meds. I mean, it makes me they, I feel terrible. Anyway, so that's just some of them. Let's go through these other ones here. This is uh, OxyContin. This is a pain medication. You know that you've graduated to the world of cancer when they start dishing out OxyContin like candy. I have to take two of these things a day I don't like to, because I don't like to feel doped out, but that's what I have to take. This is a gigantic bottle of Vicodin. Again, I don't like taking them. I feel dopey, I feel numb, but it's either that or excruciating pain. So, I take these two things, if you can believe it, OxyContin and Vicodin together. It's horrible. I don't, I don't really like it. Definitely do not like it. Um, all right. This is a fact of life. You start taking all these drugs, you start taking all these narcotics, and you get bound up. Stool softener. I take a lot of those a day. In the presence of senna, which is a laxative, I have to take that every day. Prilosec, because... because... Prescription meds screw up your stomach and your throat, and it's just crazy. So we're going to take that to counter some of the other issues. My selects, this is pleasant. I have to take this so that I don't get mouth fungus. 
which is a side effect of one of the other meds. Soap bra, which I normally take anyway. Back trim. Stuff's not so bad. It's again, it's another, uh, I don't really know what that is. It's another one of those cancer drugs. I'll have to look that one up. I know it does something. And then this is my pill box. Which is ridiculous. It's just full of pills every day. AM and PM. It just sucks. Totally sucks. So now you know what goes into being what goes into being a cancer patient when it comes to meds. There's a lot of them. Um, and there's nothing fun about it. And you gotta remember when to take them. You know, for example, you just can't go taking an extra cancer medication because you could end up hurting your good cells, you know, hurting your organs. Um, I'm gonna cut it there talk some more about the meds, how they make me feel uh, in the next one. I need to change this chair too, it's a little too squeaky.